In this video, I want to share with you my alternatives that I am using for Docker Hub. And if you are learning Docker or you are using Docker, at some point you know about Docker Hub. What is Docker Hub? This is a special service where you can upload your images. And actually, this is the official stuff from the Docker itself. This is why it is extremely popular. But the main problem is that this is not a free tool. We can open here pricing, and as you can see, it is free, but only for public repositories. It is not free for private repositories, which actually means if you have some images that you don't want to make public, this is not a good choice for you, because you must pay at least $5 per month to get unlimited private repositories. For example, I really want to store all my images privately and obviously not for public. This is why there are some alternatives that I am using. And the first alternative here in the list is GitLab and Container Registry. If you are making a free account inside GitLab, here you have packages and registries and here Container Registry. And you can upload inside GitLab, inside your repository, your images of the Docker. This is exactly what I have here for my own website. The main point is that inside GitLab you are getting 10 gigabytes of data. And these are the whole data for all your things inside your repository. For example, for your files, but also in this case for the images inside Docker. And this is extremely efficient because it is completely free. You just push your image from local to GitLab and then inside other machines, for example, in your production server, you can just pull this image and use it there. And here you for sure think, okay, but GitHub has the same stuff, why I am using GitLab? And actually inside GitLab you can see here, there is a Docker container registry, but it is free only for public images, which actually means it is essentially the same Docker Hub. You can just store public images, and this is not interesting for most people. But actually there is another way, but here we must answer, okay, but why we want a place to store our images? And typically, first of all, this is a comfort, and secondly, your server might be not that fast to build the whole image inside itself. But actually, if your server is not extremely cheap, you can build all your Docker images, just like you are doing locally, for your production application. What is the idea? You simply jump inside terminal, inside your server, through SSH to your production server. Now here you are just jumping to your project and you are pulling it with git pull. So now you have the latest project but no images. And actually in order to use docker on your production server, you for sure install docker. This is why here we can write now docker compose, because I am using compose, and I am just running build command. The main idea is that we don't need to pull image from somewhere, we can build it from scratch. And sure, it will take much more time and resources from the server, but in a lot of cases it is totally fine. In this case you don't need to use some external registry, you simply build your images directly on the server where you want to run your docker with your latest code. And then every single time when you are making some changes, you simply need to write git pull and then docker compose build, and you are good to go. And actually, if you are interested to learn docker and docker compose for creating your projects, make sure that you check this video also.